Dear all, in this session, we are going to demonstrate an experiment on comparators using operational amplifier. So we have to design a comparator using an op-amp IC. Here, we are using an op-amp IC that is uh, mu A741. And uh, we need to design a comparator and the same thing will be demonstrated. First of all, I would like to discuss the circuit diagram which is provided for you. As you can see, we have two inputs. So VI, that represents the sinusoidal waveform. And uh, V reference, uh, that is a DC voltage. The sinusoidal voltage that is generated from signal generator. Okay, we have signal generator. I'll be showing you the signal generator, then uh, RPS, everything, when I'm going to show you the demonstration. The specification of the first input, so let us call VIN1, that is uh, 1 kilohertz, then peak to peak will be 10 volt, okay, peak to peak, uh, or we can say V, v peak to peak. So this will be the V peak to peak. This will be around, uh, we'll be maintaining 10 volt peak to peak. Correct? That we have to maintain. Similarly, we have two terminals. First one is non-inverting terminal. So three pin. Pin number three will be connected to non-inverting terminal. Pin number two will be at the inverting terminal. So we need to understand positive stand for non-inverting terminal and the negative stand for uh, inverting terminal. Also, we have VCC. Uh, plus 7 indicate VCC. Plus VCC, it will be around 15 volt. And uh, the, the fourth pin will be directly given to ground. Now, let me ask one question. Where do you take the output? So, output will be taken from uh, 6. Pin number 6, we will be taking the output. Uh, then, we have the input resistance 1 kilo ohm respectively. For each case, input resistance are 1 kilo ohm respectively. And output resistance will be 2.2 kilo ohm. So, uh, these are the setup experimental setup better you can refer the pin out of lm741 okay uh, mu a741 you can refer definitely will be getting these points for your betterment we have mentioned like uh, where to connect the three where to connect the pin number two what about the seven what is four everything we have only mentioned but some circuit diagram they may not mention the uh, pin number so better you can refer the pin out details and put the same thing in the circuit diagram so that it will be very easy okay for exam point, uh, you can remember uh, those pin nodes. Let us see the procedure, how to conduct the experiment. We are having a set of procedures. Uh, initially, what you are supposed to do is you have to do the connections as per the circuit diagram. Uh, similarly, what you can do is uh, set VCC, uh, the, that is seventh pin. You have to connect VCC at the seventh pin. So you can use the RPS. Then a fourth pin will be given to the ground. Okay, in the RPS, there will be uh, positive and negative, right? Positive will be directly given to seven. Uh, that uh, fourth pin will be directly connected to that uh, ground pin. Fine. Uh, then uh, you have to set the reference voltage by using RPS. What is the value of reference voltage initially? You need to mention one volt. Then you need to set uh, another input voltage of sinusoidal waveform of 10 volt peak to peak with the supply frequency of 1 kilohertz that you have to generate first. So connect uh, CRO and the function generator each other with the help of CRO probe and you need to set it. Later you need to uh, connect the output. The sixth pin will be directly given to the output. Then uh, plotting of the waveform. Uh, then compare the output and input. Calculation of the duty cycle and the theoretical calculation. So you are, later on what you are supposed to do is in order to take different readings, you have to change the reference voltage. So earlier it was 1 volt. Now it can vary slowly and it can be reached up to negative 1 volt. So these are the simple procedure for conducting the experiment. So please go through the procedure first. Now as you can see uh, the waveforms. So let us see this is your sinusoidal waveform. VIN1. Let, let me call VIN1. So here we are not, not at all changing anything for the sinusoidal waveform. Initially we are setting 10 volt peak to peak. Then the frequency range is uh, 1000 hertz or 1 kilohertz, you can mention. Similarly, what we are going to change? Yes, we are going to change the reference voltage. So you are varying the reference voltage from 1 volt to minus 1 volt. With the respect to the change in reference voltage, this is your output, expected output. Output will be changing. 
So in that output, we have to measure the duty cycle. How to measure the duty cycle? So you have to note down very carefully. This is your on period. Let us mark T on. And uh, we have to mark the off period. Let us mark T off. This is your off period. Fine. Now you have to mark what is the total time period. Let us see. This is your total time period T. Now what is duty ratio? Duty ratio or duty cycle is given by T on divided by total time period. T on divided by T. That is called a duty cycle or duty ratio. Okay. So your duty ratio is calculated using this formula. Then you have to measure practical voltage using the multimeter or you can use the CR. Multimeter is better. You can use the multimeter directly. You will be getting the voltage. Now, uh, theoretically, how to calculate? You know, V0 by VIN is equal to duty cycle. Correct, no? Therefore, V0 will be equal to duty cycle into VIN. Okay, VIN. Then you can calculate uh, the output voltage. So, we'll be explaining entire uh, procedure in the demonstration. Please stay tuned in the demonstration. Whenever I'm going to discuss the demonstration, please observe carefully. Same thing you can adopt in a, whenever you are performing the practical laboratory. Let us go through the demonstration. Uh, now, uh, we can see the experimental setup. Uh, connection will be done using the breadboard. Uh, the regulated DC power supply. Okay, we have the regulated DC power supply. Fine. So we are going to provide uh, RPS to pin number 7. The ground will be directly given to pin number 4. So the red colored one, you can see the red colored. Okay, red color one. And there is a black colored point is also available. Okay. Uh, like, like this two channel will be there. Channel 1 and channel 2. Okay, channel 1 and channel 2. Two channel will be available. So what you can do is uh, you can provide uh, VCs, you can provide. Otherwise, uh, another method is available. What we are going to do is, so we'll be connecting uh, the pin number 7 and uh, 4 from this function generator itself. Here, you can see very carefully. So please refer it, refer this. Uh, here, you can see the positive and uh, negative. So positive plus 15 volt, that will be given to 7. The negative segment that is given to 4. From here also, initially what I explained is from here itself, here also, also you can connect it, but uh, uh, for the convenience, from the signal generator is already available. Again, why, why to uh, depends on uh, RPS once again. So uh, from the signal generator itself, you can do the connection. So plus will be given to 7, minus will be given to 4. I think it's clear to everybody. Uh, now, I'll be introducing the components. What are the components you have used? I have shown you the breadboard already. Uh, now we have the uh, CRO to check the output. To connect the sixth pin will be directly given to CRO. Uh, then uh, this is actually your reference voltage because comparator, no. Comparator will be having two inputs. One input will be sinusoidal waveform. See, one input is sinusoidal waveform. That also I have set. Let us call VIN1. VIN1. Then you can measure uh, VIN1. Uh, another one is actually VIN2. Okay. So this is your VIN2. Two. two input will be the VIN1 and VIN2. Uh, next is actually to measure the output. Measure the output. We, we are having uh, multimeter, digital multimeter. DMM is available. Digital multimeter. Okay. We can see the uh, digital multimeter. Okay. Uh, then uh, these are the setup. Okay. I think setup is clear to everybody. So set the CRO, then RPS. Uh, then you can see the function generator to generate the sinusoidal waveform. Set the frequency is equal to 1000 hertz initially. This setup you have to do at the beginning. Okay. Now let us uh, continue. Yeah. So for connections, you have to do it uh, very carefully. Connections. Okay. All the re uh, resistors, all those things you have to connect it properly. Frequency and peak to peak voltage you have to set. So, what is the frequency? Now, check it up, check the frequency. This is your frequency, 1 kilohertz now. And uh, by using the amplitude, you have to set 10 volt to peak to peak. Okay, 10 VPP you have to set. Okay, uh, make sure that uh, the input, whatever you have set, is proper. Fine. So, this you are supposed to make out first. Let us continue. This is regarding the setting of input 1. Also, I mentioned earlier that uh, you can set the uh, VCC, uh, you can set the uh, IC741 
you have two pins. You know, one is at four, and that should be given to seven. Seven will be given from the positive side, and uh, uh, the negative end of the supply will be given to four. That can be done from the uh, power supply segment. Here it is very clearly mentioned. Please check it up. Look at the DC power supply. Here also one DC power supply is available. So no problem. No need to have a separate DC power supply. From the function generator itself, you can generate uh, the, the DC, DC supply. Okay, fine. Okay, that I want to add this point. So let us continue the discussion. So another point is actually V reference. No? V reference is equal to 1 volt. Initially, you have to set it. So V reference you can observe here. So this is your V reference. So other channel we are not using because already uh, there is a facility for providing the DC supply at the function generator. Why we require one more uh, segment? So that uh, no, this is not required. So only one volt you are supposed to set where here itself you are supposed to set. This is your V reference. V reference should be one volt. One volt that you are supposed to set. So that will be the second input. First input will be sinusoidal waveform. Second input will be uh, like a one volt DC supply. Fine. You are comparing sinusoidal waveform with the DC supply. That is what exactly happening. Now the output. Output will be connected at CR only. Here, uh, the thing is, uh, the sinusoidal waveform will be your input to input to one. Am I right or not? What is output? Yes, this will be the output. What about input two? So input two, input two I have in uh, shown in the CRO. Input 2 is already available because it's a fixer only. 1 volt, it's already fixed. It's a DC supply. It is fixer only, so I did not show anything on the CRO. So anyway, I'm providing from the RPS. I think uh, you are getting my point. Yes. So this is your output. That is square pulse is there. No? That is the comparator output. By comparing sinusoidal waveform with a DC supply of 1 volt, then you are getting the pulses. So what is the on period? This, this must be the on period, T on. Let us say this is your T on. What is the off period? Yeah, you can note on this is your off period, T off. What is the total time period? This is your total time period. Let's see, this is your total time period. I think it's clear to everybody. So from this, you can calculate the duty cycle. Okay, T on by total time. Okay, then you can measure the uh, theoretical output. Easily, you can measure the theoretical output. Okay, that is a procedure. So let us uh, observe what we have done. So I'm showing all the things whichever we have done in the laboratory. So we can see the waveform out, output waveform. And uh, in that uh, DMM, we can check the output to voltage. So if you check the output to voltage at pin number six, uh, connect the positive lead at six, negative and should be given to ground, definitely you can get the measured output to voltage. Okay, practical, practical value. So practical value, you can compare with the theoretical value. So practical value will be getting from the DMM. Theoretical value by using the calculation. Calculation in the sense, I already mentioned it. First, you calculate the duty cycle, T on by total time. Then uh, duty cycle should be multiplied with the input to voltage. Then you will be getting the output to voltage. So that output to voltage can be compared with the multimeter output. Fine. So that is what exactly happening. So uh, this is a setup, entire setup. Yeah, now you have to change the voltage. You have to change the voltage. Okay, uh, you can increase to 2, then uh, 0.5, minus 1, like that you can go for different options. Whenever we are changing the voltage, definitely you can see that output width is reduced. Width is very uh, reduced, correct, no? That variation you can uh, observe very clearly. At that time, uh, at the same time, uh, the measured value, measured value is also getting varied. Measured value is changing. Okay. So measured value you have to take note down, have a, note, uh, have a uh, brief information about the measured value. Then uh, you have to mention about the calculated value. See, whenever we are changing, no? whenever changing the reference voltage, obviously there is a changes in the output. So here output is that square wave. It is very clear, I think. Yeah. With respect to change in the reference voltage, what I am changing is uh, the reference voltage. What I am uh, obtaining is actually the output voltage. Correct? Okay. So that is the way how to check the output. Fine. Now, if you want, I will tell you how to measure the uh, time period, all those things. 
fine so t on how to measure the t on how to measure the t on t on how to measure so first you consider where is that on period this must be the on period fine no? this must be the on period so you can count 0 0.2 0 0.4 it is around 0 0.8 0 0.8 0 0.8 should be multiplied with the time per division so this must be the time per division time per division is how much 0 0.5 millisecond 0 0.5 millisecond then you will be getting the t on how to get the total time period total time period is how much uh, from here to here, you can measure total time period. It will be around uh, around 2. Okay, that means 2 into uh, 0.5 millisecond. That is equal to 1 millisecond, right? 1 millisecond. So, you take the ratio or T on divided by uh, total time. So, uh, this will be a 0.4, no? 0.4. 0 0.4. 0 0.4 divided by how much? 1 into 100 or 40 percentage. So, duty cycle is equal to 40 percentage or you can write it as 0 0.4. Fine, no? 0 0.4. Duty cycle is equal to 0 0.4. It is clear to everybody. 0 0.4. Uh, now, the input voltage has to be multiplied with the duty cycle. So, that you will be getting the output voltage. Same output voltage has to be compared with the, the measured value, which is uh, with the help of DMO. So, that is a procedure. Fine now. Okay. I think it's clear to everybody. Uh, in comparator, what we are going to do is, we are comparing the two inputs. The first input is sinusoidal waveform and another input is a DC waveform. Both are compared. Okay. Uh, then the variation will be measured that is considered as output. So, that is what exactly we have done. Okay. So, uh, in this session, uh, we have explained uh, the comparator. Now, we have taken the reading. What you can do is, the DC reference voltage, 1 volt, 2 volt, then 0.5 volt, uh, minus 1 volt. Like that, you can measure the, vary the DC reference voltage. The input voltage is unchanged. That is, everything is 10 volt only, 10 volt. It is unchanged. Okay, you can note down. We are not changing any sinusoidal input to waveform. V I N 1, we are not changing. V I N 2, we are varying. Then you can measure the output voltage by using the uh, multimeter. Then uh, find out the duty cycle. Duty cycle, you have to calculate. Then theoretical value. D is equal to, sorry, D into, uh, V naught is equal to D into V A N. D into V A N. Okay. This is what exactly you are supposed to make out. So, complete the tabular column. The result you can measure that with uh, we can we have verified uh, the comparator circuit using mu a seven four one IC. Let me know if you are having any questions related to the experiment. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Try to uh, make out your connection need. You can uh, test the same circuit in the laboratory and uh, have a good day. Hope you have enjoyed the session. Thank you for watching this video.